going to learn how to subtract mixed numbers using models. So we're going to start with 3 and 1 fourth minus 1 and 3 fourths. So I'm going to start by drawing a model for 3 and a fourth. So I have 1, 2, 3. And then for my last one, I'm going to divide it into four parts. And three of them, or one of them, is shaded, and that's my first part. Now, in subtracting, I'm not going to want to make another model for one and three fourths because we're taking away parts. So instead, what we're going to do is cross out what we don't need anymore. So we're starting with one whole. So I'm going to draw an X around one. So now I've taken away one whole. Now I see here that I have one part, so I'm going to cross that part out as well. So I've subtracted one and one fourth, so I still need to take away two fourths. So if I come over to here and I divide this whole into four parts, now you see that I can take away one fourth and two fourths. And if I count what's left, I have one whole, and one, two, fourths. So, three fourths, my three and one fourth minus one and three fourths equals one and two fourths. But as all good mathematicians do, you're going to want to check your answer after you find it the first time. So to check a subtraction problem, you're going to take your difference, which was 1 and 2 fourths, and add it to 1 and 3 fourths to see if you get 3 and 1 fourths. So start by adding your whole numbers, and you get 1 plus 1, which is 2. And then if you add your numerators, you get 2 and 5 fourths. 5 fourths is an improper fraction, so you're going to want to convert that into a mixed number. So 5 divided by 4, we're thinking how many times can 4 go into 5? That's once. Do your division, and you get 1 remainder 1. So, 2 and 5 fourths equals 3 and 1 fourth. And you see that this answer matches where you started. So you check that your work is correct. And now you know how to subtract mixed numbers using models.